Why, hello, it is I, Chris Brogan. It is time for the news for this day, Saturday, August 26, 2017. If you are new to this experience, what's going on here is I have read through a bunch of different articles that I found that I thought were interesting and thought you might find were interesting. Um, in this situation, I'm using something called Ecamm Live. There's a link right over there that you can use for yourself if you want to make your own cool Facebook Live news experience. What we do in this is that, like I said, I go through and explain all of these things to you and show you what I found that I thought was kind of interesting and you might find of note. You can follow along. You can get all the links to all of the stuff that I've shared by going to chrisbrogan.com slash cbm for Chris Brogan Media and it will show you all the links and notes for the news. So that's how we do it, that's how we put it together. I guess it's time to get started. All right, let's see what I have first up. Oh yes, yes, yes. You should know this one. It's kind of neat. The Essential Phone just launched. So if you are an Android phone user and you think that's kind of an interesting platform, which I am and I do, this is the new Essential Phone. It just shipped. Andy Rubin started this company. It's uh, The interesting thing about this particular phone is that there's absolutely no bloat to speak about. It is just the facts. It is just the important stuff. So they had a little trouble getting it off the... Off the uh, launch but it's all out there and it has launched so you can pick this thing up without a contract at a 700 bucks but again what you could do with this that you can't do with a lot of different phones is it has itself all set up for you to be able to uh, run it with no bloat so i think that's what makes it kind of cool all right next up was a kind of interesting piece of news which is that there's a new robotic exoskeleton that can help kids with cerebral palsy walk. And this is so important. This is really interesting stuff because what's going on is that, you know, we've hadn't had so many great innovations in mo mobility for people with different abilities. And so having a kid with cerebral palsy usually means you're going to put them in a chair. But now there's an opportunity to, sh to allow them to walk. I found this via Digital Trends thought it was definitely good news and definitely worth us sharing. Um, I haven't checked in on Rand Fishkin's Moz site in a little while, and I ran into this really cool whiteboard Friday where he was discussing how to determine if a page is low quality according to Google. So if you don't go look at any of the links that I've shared with you besides this one, this might be really important to your business. So go to chrisbrogan.com slash cbm to get the notes for this thing. What constitutes a quality for Google? Well, you know, this will explain that all for you. So it's really important to peek through this, take a look. This is, uh, this is the transcripts of this video. So you can either watch the video or you can look at the transcripts and you will be able to see what matters and what doesn't in this situation. News that I wish I weren't reporting, President of the United States Donald Trump signs a memo banning transgendered military recruits. Terrible feeling. This is something that I think is unfortunate that's happened, but it's important that we know this story is on the go. Now, there's lots of reasons that people uh, have for saying this is good or bad or otherwise. There's a lot of opinions in this story, but my opinion in this story is that if someone wants to serve the country and serve for my freedom and the freedom of other countries and they believe they were assigned the wrong gender at birth, then I am not going to fight them on that. So it's unfortunate that that's where that went. So next, baby boomers. This is a story in Inc. Magazine and it was saying that uh, Google says that you can uh, do all kinds of marketing to millennials, but what about the baby boomers? This, this title is a little you know, misleading, as a lot of titles are these days. But what everyone has done wrong, hey, Jake, uh, what has everyone done wrong with baby boomers? Well, what they're saying is that baby boomers have money, that they have lots of free time, they like technology, they travel a lot, they're uh, running into health situations, they want to relive their youth, they sometimes forget things, and they're loyal. So who knows? Maybe there's going to be a compete every day for baby boomers. Um, stranger things have certainly happened. I think that there's a possibility of, uh, you know, taking a look at that marketplace. I think it's a worthwhile marketplace for you to consider if you haven't just yet. Up next, this was a piece I found kind of interesting. I, it's so funny. I just realized how many times I say I found this interesting. Well, I wouldn't be sharing it with you if I didn't think it was interesting, right? So this is uh, from the site SoftRep. So I'm a big fan of SoftRep. This, uh, and this is one of their uh, spin-off sites called loadoutroom.com. This is how to think like a veteran and how to survive a violent attack. So this walks through a few different scenarios and what you might want to do if you were found in that particular situation. So if you're in an active shooter situation in a movie theater or a shopping mall 
or whatever, a hostage situation. Why I find this interesting is I feel that there's a lot of us who aren't really sure what we should do, aren't really sure what the right way to approach it is, and we think that maybe just keep your head down is the good answer. Uh, these guys say that maybe that's not the best answer. So that's definitely worth checking out as well. New topic this week in credit cards, digital payment is more popular than cash. So this is interesting because it turns out that it's, this is a finally kind of a story. You know, you and I have felt for a long time that digital payments are better than cash, but now we are saying that it's more popular. But it's also interesting in looking at what the other investments are, what else are happening. So Square, by the way, for instance, Jack Dorsey's company Square has launched its first uh, retail physical store so that you, know, you can have a physical presence to go in and talk to people. I've seen this a lot lately. There's been Uber offices, now there's Square offices, online only kind of platforms trying to make sure that you um, get yourself into a store if you have any questions about taking that as a merchant platform. I think Square is a great product. I think it's definitely worth uh, looking into. And digital products in general, uh, if you are not finding good ways to accept them, you're kind of doomed at this point. I think everyone that would watch this is probably already uh, accepting money in digital ways more than cash. All right, next up. 10 plus genius camera hacks. This is my buddy Calvin Lee, Mayhem Studios. He shared this on Facebook and I thought it was so cool. These are just little cool random hacks that you can use to create really fun visual effects. So uh, there's this thing called bokeh, which are those little dots, for instance. You can use tinfoil in the background of something to make it look like that's what you got there. How to shoot a really cheap underwater shot? Take a fish tank with you and you can shoot the shot under the water. So, oops, you can shoot the shot under the water so that it looks like a really cool above and underwater shot. I always wondered how those were done, and now I know. And there's like, I don't know, 40 or 50 of these things. Take a... Take a uh a flower sifter and you can use it for a cool shadow you know there's just tons of these this one i thought might be interesting especially to jake you know these are the things that you might find kind of cool because you could use these in your own life so i thought that was really cool this last story is uh, an opinion piece about superheroes something i'm a big fan of so this is following wonder woman not marvel might be the key to dc cinematic survival so martin scorsese has been announced to be releasing a standalone joker movie that is much more than likely that this will be Joker and Harley Quinn. Um, so it is really important to note that this should be kind of interesting. But what this article goes on to say, this is reported in The Verge, is that maybe we should be following the lead of Wonder Woman and how they made that movie and not following the Marvel situation of trying to make a very interconnected Marvel universe. That's important because a lot of people are saying that if DC really wants to get it right, they're going to have to do what Marvel did. This person's opinion is no. There's a lot of failed versions of this, like the Universal Studios MonsterVerse that just recently launched. And if you don't know about Universal's MonsterVerse, I rest my case. That's definitely the situation. So that was worth uh, talking about just because I, I find it interesting when we look at creative endeavors to see what other creative endeavors uh, people look to for their advice and their opinions and their ideas. That's going to wrap it up for this particular episode of the news. You can go to chrisbrogan.com slash CBM to scroll through all the links. I used Ecamm Live, which is the best way to do Facebook Live on a Mac. If you want to see how I did it, I've got a little video tutorial that walks you through how I made this newscast. That's at chrisbrogan.com slash CBM as well. If you want to just pick up Ecamm Live for your Mac, go to cbrogan.me slash Ecamm Live and pick this thing up. If you want to look at back episodes of the news, I've got a few others up there. You can also go to youtube.com slash Chris Brogan and check out some of my other videos. I'm the heck out of here. Great talking to you. See you later. May or may not see you tomorrow. We'll figure it out.